Well, hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna to be dealing with trailer swing. All right, the next video that you're gonna see here is uh, basically an accident that happened at a gas station. And yeah, so I just figured that this is kind of a good time to actually maybe educate you guys on the trailer swing and how to prevent it and when's it okay and when's it not okay. But anyway, as well, the basically for the people who have never seen my channel before, uh, in the, the majority of the video, we, we will be using my game, my trucking skills, which you can get on iOS, Android, and the PC. And sometime in May, hopefully before, but uh, there will be an, a European version of the game coming out. So maybe that will be something to look forward to. All right. Anyway, okay, let's get on with the video. So somebody sent me this video and it inspired me to make this really long ass video about trailer swing. Now you'll see in just a second why understanding your trailer swing is very important, especially if you're in Europe. Uh, their trailer swing is a lot greater than it is in America. And uh, here's why this poor little gentleman here gets squished between the back of the trailer and his car just because the driver didn't understand his swing. But anyway, let's let's get on with our with our tutorial here on trailer swing. Now I'm gonna try reenact his his uh, his his accident um now this is this is a rough this is roughly what it looks like all right you got your poles over here on the left um his goal was to miss it so he straightened up and that was fine that was great he's missing the pole all right now he starts to turn and he keeps turning it keeps turning keeps turning crushes the guy well of course I can't quite mimic it perfectly because he didn't even, I bet that he didn't even know he, he, he had that accident. When you have these accidents where, you're, uh, where your rear end hits somebody, you don't know about it. Chances are you won't know about it until somebody actually uh, flags you down to let you know what you just did. So basically this is kind of the view that you will get if you are in the cab. Once you start turning the truck anyway whatsoever, you lose what is on the blind side or the opposite side of where you turned. All right, now, as you can see, this is basically the exact same thing again, okay? Um, he's kind of a little bit cockeyed while he's inside there. He straightens up, he drives straight. Now he can see in both sides of the mirror absolutely perfectly. But he thinks he's wide enough, but he's not, and he's trying to avoid whatever is in front of him, so he starts to turn. Now, at this particular point right here, uh, he, should have been, he should be driving straight because anything besides that was going to, well, hit something as you can see here let's get out and look again boom hit something so even in this position uh what you could do again more than likely he had to turn because there was a building but let's say you did start to turn hard to the left and you can straighten up by cranking it all the way to the right just to take a peek what's going on and then you can go hard to the left again all right basically you want to kind of straighten up in the shortest distance just so you can see what's going on or you could stop the truck and get out that's another way to do it or you could ask somebody to spot you to make sure you're not going to hit something now here it is again at a slightly different angle where he's not quite parallel when he when he gets into the area so he just drives straight again driving straight is always your safe bet and now let's say we start turning roughly around here but we're not turning hard all right now let's go ahead and straighten up again so we can take a peek all right looking good and i think we can turn right around here but i still probably wouldn't take the gamble in the real world all right i would get out and look and I would ask somebody to make sure, but it's just, I think as soon as, I think there was no way out of hitting that car, really. He should have just not gone in there. Now, this is your standard truck and trailer setup combination or whatever in America. All right. Our axles are at the 40 foot mark. Now we could have them a little further up or, you know, and in some states you can have them further back. But, but generally speaking, the 40 foot mark. Now, when I say the 40 foot mark, it means the very center of the, uh, the back axles to the kingpin can't be more than 40 feet. Now I'm going to turn my steering wheel to the right and then I'm going to start rolling. Okay. Now I want you to watch the back of the trailer. All right. So we dip over the curb. We dip into the, uh, the orange line. Maybe just, maybe we just touch it just a fraction. So as you can see, there's trailer swing right there. So this time we have a lot less room. All right. So you start to pull your U-turn. All right. You just drive forward. Your back end goes over the curb just a little bit, not causing any damage. And, uh, hopefully you can get around without actually uh stopping all right and that's the safest way to do to do u-turn now when you have very little room and you try to do it um th this can cause a problem okay so let's say we stop right here now and basically i think we would call this a three-point turn 
you reverse. All right. Now look how far. Now it basically before our trailer barely even went over. Right. So now we would reverse. We're basically trying to reverse enough to where you can just drive out. Whoops, that was a bit too much. I was meant to stop before that. My apologies. Uh, and, then, and then we turn. Now watch the back of the trailer. All right. See how much is dipping over now. All right. So we're still not causing any damage. Okay. But just be aware. If that was a wall or if there was a, a car part, imagine how much would actually how much swing the trailer would actually be causing. Now this is a day cab. All right. We're going to do the exact same thing. It's the exact same trailer. And then we're going to go to the right. Now I want you to watch the trailer swing. Okay. As you can see, it dipped in a little bit, like a few more inches. Okay. A few more inches it, it, it dipped in. So the reason why I'm telling you this is that when you have a, a small truck, all right, the trailer swing is going to be a lot greater because the truck can turn in a tighter area. Now this is an even smaller truck again. All right. Axles are still in the same place. Well, we have a smaller truck, basically this, uh, a shorter wheelbase. As you can see, the back of the trailer dips in. All right, it goes completely over that, over the orange line, and nearly touches the, well, it definitely goes over the red line. So just be aware, if you're driving a smaller truck, there will be more of a trailer swing. Now, this is a European style truck with a European style trailer. As you can see, the kingpin is actually further back. The goal is to have the wheelbase as short as possible because in Europe, the roads are a lot smaller and tighter. So let's do the exact same thing. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, turn all the way to the right. All right, now, the, basically the very center of the axles, basically if you draw a line from the furthest point over here all the way to the furthest point back over here, and the same over here, and where they cross will be the center. That's the dragging point, all right? Meaning as in like that's the point where everything, it, where everything drags, all right? Obviously there are wheels that are not dragging, but you know, anyway. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn, all right? Turn to the right. Maybe the back axle might touch the curb a little bit, but look at the swing. Look how crazy that swing is. Basically, as soon as I get to 90 degrees, I'm going to go ahead and stop. It dipped really far. So if you're driving in Europe, you really need to pay attention to your uh, to your trailer swing. And of course, uh, because your kingpin is further back, you definitely need to watch, pay attention to the, uh, to the front trailer swing. Now in Europe, this area is quite a large amount of room for you to maneuver. All right, but you gotta be, you gotta remember now. If, if is it a curb or is it a wall that you're parked next to? All right, because I mean, you gotta remember the swing. Now, if you turn all the way to the right, all right, that's basically uh, you're maximizing your turning ability in the area, or whatever. Right, but if you uh, if you don't, basically, you're it's it's gonna be a lot safer for you. All right, it's gonna cause the least amount. All right, we're just gonna just basically kind of pull out. We're not even going next to the curb. Well, we we are going next to the curb, but of course we're just trying to. We're going to hug this wall over here to the left. All right. This as much as possible. And we're not going to do the tight turning until I see that the trailer is actually gone a little bit further away from that curb. All right. Now we can crank it hard. All right. And now that we're away, we're away from everything. It even the swing isn't that bad. Now I'm going to maintain my 90, my 90 degrees here just for a little bit longer. And now we can start heading towards our exit. All right, with no damage whatsoever. So if you are going to be pulling a U-turn, uh, just try to keep it as wide as possible. All right, always have the widest U-turn possible. Now, if we turn our steering wheels to the right before moving and then go forward, as you can see, the swing of the trailer is absolutely horrendous. Now, if you now, a lot, and a lot of times in Europe, what happens is that it's such a short area where there, there might be a car here or whatever, right? And they'll keep turning you're going to be going beyond 90 degrees, okay? As you can see, the trailer is going backwards, even though you're driving forwards, it's just that you're still, it's because the angle has changed, you're kind of, uh, you're pushing the trailer backwards now. And this, again, the physics are real, all right? This is what happens, so, it, and a lot of times they'll stop before the back of the cab hits the side of the trailer, all right? As you can see, that swing has gone crazily hard over there. Now, this is pretty crazy, all right? now. The chance of you hauling one of these is very slim. <laughs> All right. Well, meaning isn't like this is a specialty. I don't think of it, there, there's a, such a thing as a trailer this size. Now there is wind turbines that are ex, are over over a hundred feet because this is basically a hundred feet. Okay. Now if I turn to the right, all right, just watch the back of the trailer. All right, uh, and just watch what happens. As soon as I go to the right, it starts drifting immediately. Okay, just immediately, <laughs> and it'll go all the way probably over to this part right here, whatever, but the swing is just too great. 
All right, and, and I know this is the exaggerated version, but sometimes you gotta see an exaggerated version to understand just a little bit, or certain positions are pretty close to each other, all right? So in order for my truck to not hit this curb, all right, with the, with, with the, uh, with the crazy swing that we have here, you can only turn slightly. And it's, I do believe that I'll still probably end up hitting. Oh, look, it's like, getting really close already, all right? So let's straighten up, and now we gotta drive away from it, all right? See the way I'm driving away from it right now? Let's turn a little bit more again. And we're probably gonna hit that wall before I get a chance. Yeah, ooh, and then the swing hits again. It's a good thing that you're not gonna have to worry about it, except for if you wanna get three stars in my game, in whatever levels I have this particular size trailer. It's it's really, like, even if I wanted to turn right now, you know, it's gonna hit. It's, ooh, and then you straighten up a little bit, and you gotta go to the right again. You know, it's uh, it's quite, <laughs> it's quite crazy, uh, but you know, yeah. Now, not to, not that you're going to get yourself in this position, but maybe you do. Uh, there's some crazy videos on YouTube that you can probably get a hold of. But let's say you do this. All right, you stop, okay, and then you reverse. Okay, maybe you stop right before, once you hit the curb, and you go to the right again. Okay, and you stop again because you're trying to avoid something over here or something or another, right? There's many situations out there. Okay, so now we are at 90 degrees. <laughs> okay, pretty crazy stuff, but watch the swing, all right? The swing is gonna basically just, you know, start immediately, all right? It's not gonna push the, the axles further away from the curb. And uh, even though uh, you, the, the, you're not gonna do any damage to any anything, but if there was a wall there or if there was a car there, yeah, it's just bad news really now, isn't it? <laughs> you know, so be, you gotta, yeah. You, only, you know what I'm going to say. Just be careful of the trailer swing. Well, I hope that wasn't too confusing for you guys. Uh, again, if you want to practice, yeah, please download my game. Uh, the European version. Uh, maybe you, when you're watching this, it's already out. There should be a link in the description for it. If it is already out. And no idea what the name's going to be. How about you guys suggest some names? Maybe if it's... Maybe, well, unless it's already out. <laughs> but anyway. All right. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.